welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna do a fall makeup tutorial and I am gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills a shadow couture palette and like I said this is my favorite palette right now and I love the colors so I do want to do more tutorials with this especially since it's a fall palette and it's just perfect so I'm obsessed with it I was going for a more of a smoky purple eye but I ended up just coming up with this. I really like the browns, especially, I don't know, I feel like it matches this lip color. And this color is my favorite. So, um, I just wanted to do browns. I feel like it goes more with it. I know it's not fall yet, and it is September, and fall is just a few days. And like I said, I'm so excited for fall, so I, I just want to do fall makeup looks now. I love the vampy look. I love the browns, the Bambi lips. If you guys want to learn how I get this look, just keep on watching. So I already went ahead and primed my eyelids and I set it with a light powder. So we will be going with a blending brush and the color Soft Peach and use that as a transition color in our crease. So then with this brush and then the color Morocco, we're going to go ahead and put that on our outer corner of our lid. And then with our blending brush, we're going to go ahead and blend that out. And then with the same brush and the Morocco color again, we're going to just go ahead and put it in our inner corner of our eyelid. And we're just going to leave the middle of the eyelid blank because we're going to add another color there. And then with our blending brush, we're going to go ahead and just blend that out. I'm just going to go ahead and add some more of the Morocco color. Pretty much repeat the steps that I was doing before. And then just blend it out with our blending brush again. And then now again with this brush and using the color fudge we're gonna add that to our outer corner but we're not gonna go all the way up too far from the crease just right here and then I'm also gonna add some in the inner corner of my eyelid and now we're gonna go ahead and blend it with our blending brush and then I'll be doing the same in the inner corner. And now using that the brush that it came with, I'm going to use this side of the brush. And I'm going with the color Bellini. Pat it in there in the middle where we left blank. We're just going to go ahead and add it there. I think I'm going to just get some with my finger and just add it. With a blending brush, which this one, I'm just going to blend the edges on the side and then right here. And the top, I'm just and now for my face we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use the pore professional primer and I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then using my lock it foundation from Kat Von D I do feel like this foundation is a little bit darker on my skin 
now like it really doesn't match this is in the color 54 medium and I like to mix it in with my naked skin concealer and then I went ahead and mixed it and I'm gonna add it to my fuzz so yeah I look like a weirdo I know so now I will be going with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and it's in the color Light Neutral. That's cricket. Oh well. And then again with my Real Techniques Damp Sponge, we're just going to blend that in. I do like to set my concealer right away when I blend it in. So I'm going to be using my Morphe Brushes Palette, the 06F palette. I'm going to go ahead with this really light color right here. Setting everywhere else I concealed. But, and then now with my Airspun, I like to set my whole face. And it's in the color Translucent Extra Coverage. And I will be going with my e.l.f. powder brush. It broke, so I don't even bother. It's so messy. Oh my gosh. So with that same brush, I went with the color Bellini. I put it in the middle. With the same brush, we're gonna get the color Morocco and we're gonna add that to our outer corner of our bottom, bottom eyelash line. And just have it meet up with the top blended part. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit more, just like a tap more, and then add it to our inner bottom eyelash line. So now grabbing this flat brush, I'm going to get the color Fudge and I'm just going to add it to the outer bottom lash line. Also the inner. And then with that same brush that we were using, we're going to blend it out. And remember, we're not going to make it come all the way to the middle because we have that color Bellini in, in the middle. With my finger, I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit more Bellini in my bottom lash. You can use a brush if you don't feel comfortable using a f your finger. I don't want to do like a wing liner, so I'm just going to go with my this brush and my Maybelline Eye Studio Eyeliner in black. I'm really just going to go very minimal with it. I'm just adding right here a little bit in the inner corner just because I am going to wear falsies and I don't like it when it looks really really weird right here. So I made a boo-boo and I got a little bit right there but that's okay I guess. And I'm just going to add a little bit too to the outer corner not too much just down here. We're going to curl our eyelashes. And now we're gonna apply my falsies which they are from this from salon perfect I believe they're called sophisticated so while my glue is drying up I'm gonna add some of my wet and wild white pencil on my waterline now we're just gonna go with some mascara and blend my eyelashes up to the falsies and then do the bottom eyelashes also so going with this contour palette which it's from Pro Profusion I saw this at Ross and I was just showing my mom how pretty these two highlighters look and she just went ahead and bought it for me it's like a little chalky but I mean I have it I'm gonna work with it then I'm just gonna warm my face up I'm using this contour blush brush and then now I'm going back with our Morphe palette the 06F contour palette I usually like going with this color I'm light skin 
And so this color is perfect. It looks more like a shadow. But I don't know, honestly, I've just been liking to look warm. So I like this color. So, I mean, this is the one I originally go with. But today I'm going to go with this color right here. And then with this brush. And now with this powder brush and the Milani Luminoso blush, I'm going to add that to the apples of my cheeks towards my contour. And of course, I always forget my highlight. I'm going to use Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop collaboration with Jacqueline Hill. I don't know how I always forget, but I'm using this big brush. I know it's big. And with a smaller brush, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some and put that on the bridge of my nose. And a little on the tip of my nose. Also, I'm gonna add that to the inner corner of my eyes. And for our lips, we're gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Veronica. And this is my favorite liquid lipstick or lipstick in general i am so obsessed with this so i'm probably gonna be wearing this all the time i don't know and clearly i made some mistakes right here and up here so i'm gonna go back with my naked skin concealer and i'm just gonna go ahead and fix those so this is the final look guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to me yet don't forget to subscribe and share this video <laughs> if there's anything else you guys want to see just let me know and thank you so much you guys i hope you have a wonderful day a wonderful week wonderful weekend whatever is coming up and i'll see you guys on the next one